There we go. That's a vaguely boat-shaped object. Uh, more like a boat with Down syndrome than anything else, but uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is... There are actually a lot of mistakes in here. This was one of the first tuning runs with this new Bowden setup, which is pretty great. Um, this was actually just supposed to be a a dry run, and I said, oh, I've got the extruder hooked up. I might as well try and run it and see what happens, you know? Um, see if it'll uh, start skipping steps or what have you. So, um, yeah, a lot of issues here, as you can see. Um, so at the beginning of the run, things were pretty, pretty awful. Um, and the reason for that was because I have my settings actually set higher than I want them. So that way I can dial them back and then, you know, creep my way up as I get comfortable with more uh, benchies, you know, adding in, uh, you know, acceleration or speed or um, square corner velocity. But with this one, what happened was I actually left everything set up to 200K and 450 uh, millimeters per second, which obviously I needed to dial back. So I dialed it back to 150K and 350 um, and also obviously a big thing here is that there's no pressure advance I don't have pressure advance turned on which is why this looks like a hot mess um, with tons of strings but overall I'm actually very happy with this um, I've had big issues before with extruding um, just enough plastic <clears throat> And uh, I've since solved that problem. I have a Dragon High Flow on here with a, a mellow volcano. I guess it's like a Volkmosk style. Um, I went with an aluminum block because the thermal properties are, are basically as good as copper, but you know a third the weight, which is a, a nice part. So I've actually reduced the weight of the the entire hot end by about 12 grams compared to a stock Dragon High Flow, which is fantastic. Um, where to go from here? Well, obviously, we need to do a little bit more tuning with the pressure advance. I don't have any of it on, like I said. Um, so we'll do pressure advance. Um, I'm going to upgrade to a 70 watt heater because I can only maintain steady state at 300 C. I'd like to have a bit more, um, just to be able to get more flow. The other issue is cooling here. That's probably the biggest issue. Um, so for this run, I only had the on-head fans, the part cooling fans on the head running. I didn't have any of these four 5015s running. Um, I can eventually, but the problem is that when I turn them on, um, it cools the hot end to a point where I can't melt the plastic anymore. Um, I could probably only maintain about 280C steady state. Um, so those are basically the next steps. So bigger heater cartridge then enable these fans, uh, and then the next step from there, right, once I actually get the flow to where I want it to be, um, is I need to shave off some time. That was probably about 4, I don't know, 410, 420. Um, I'd like to be in the mid threes at least. Uh, my tool head weight is somewhere around probably 150 to 200 grams. Um, one thing that I discovered today was actually that the mosquito style, I think, is going to be lighter than the dragon. So that dragon hot end right now, as it sits, is about 40, uh, yeah, about 40 grams. This right here is 24 grams. Now it has the standard flow heat break on it, so maybe when I switch to the um, to the high flow, it'll be a bit heavier. Um, I'm not sure. Um, so we'll have to see. At some point, once I uh, muster up the attention span. I'm going to have to disassemble that entire head. I'll probably remove the part cooling fans off of there. That'll get me another 20 grams weight reduction. Um, disassemble the Dragon hot end, slap it on here, and um, uh, sorry, disassemble the Dragon hot end, take the heat break out, put the high flow heat break on this and see what it weighs. Um, because if it's worth 10 grams, I mean, that's a lot to me, you know, because if I can get 10 out of the hot end, 20 from removing those fans there, you know, we're at a 15% uh, a weight cut. So hopefully I can either uh, crank up the acceleration a little bit, which I honestly, I don't think it's going to help that much. Um, or I can crank up the velocity. So maybe I can go to 400 millimeters per second. Uh, and you know, hopefully that's the trick right there.